Welcome back, Quick Brain. So here's your question of the day. How do you light up your brain? We all want that. We don't want to be on the dim mode, right? We want to be able to light up our brain so we could shine brightly. And it's interesting, the word bright is often associated with intelligence and genius, and it's a word reflecting light. And that's the conversation we're going to have today. We're going to talk about the benefits and some of the drawbacks of different qualities of light towards your cognition, towards your focus, towards your memory, towards actually accelerated your learning. And that's what this session really is all about. I'm excited to have a friend here. His name is Wes Pfeiffner, and he's from Juve. And Juve, some of you have been hearing about this. It's really spreading in the biohacking community with our friends Ben Greenfield and uh, Dave Asprey. They're talking about uh, red light therapy and, and near, uh, near infrared and so we're going to talk about the power light has over our mind to be able to enhance and improve the different things that we need to do every single day to be productive and Juve is an innovator in light therapy so we're going to talk about light therapy thanks for being on the, on the show buddy yeah yeah I'm excited I'm excited it's it's awesome to be here you mentioned some of those names and it, and they're they're known for you know light therapy with with muscle recovery and joint pain etc and and now I'm excited because there's so many benefits to cognitive that, right. that I'm excited that we could we have a chance to, to get into Yeah, and today. I think a lot of people, they're used to seeing um, some of these panels, some of your panels also in different spas and dermatologists mm -hmm. because they know the benefits of light therapy for their skin, producing uh, collagen, helping with wrinkles. Uh, it has a slimming effect and with, as you said, muscle recovery, a lot of UFC fighters, a lot of NFL mm -hmm. uh, players use this to, to bounce back and bounce forward. What I wanted to talk about were the benefits on, on our cognition, on our brain mm -hmm. function, because that's what our, our fans, our followers, they really, they really geek out over. So um, first of all, what is, what is light therapy? So light therapy, really, you know, photobiomodulation is the, the technical term. Photobiomodulation. Photobiomodulation. Is that, like, got it. is that like PBM? Yep, yep, exactly, okay. PBM. And it's, it's essentially, um, you know, and now it's more, people refer to it as light therapy. Um, it's the use of natural red and near infrared light wavelengths um, that, that really boost your, your mitochondria. So you're using it at, at like a light source from, traditionally it was like a laser, handheld laser, but now they're seeing that you really can use LEDs because mm -hmm. one, they're, they're safer and, and you can get just as much benefit and treat a broader area. So now yeah. it's the use of, use of LED diodes, yeah. That's amazing. And so when we're talking about, now I, a lot of people know that I am a fan of superheroes and uh, my, my superhero origin story, if you will, Superman. He gets his actual power from, from the sun. 100%, and it, it's kind of funny that he, us as humans, we're, we're no different, and you, you say sun, and, and most folks listening, they're like, how does, how does light do that? But, but when you know, we think of, most people think of light as it's something that helps us see better, but in, in reality, you know, we, there's also solar panels on a roof, and what are they doing up there? They're, they're capturing energy, and us yeah. as humans, we're no different as we literally absorb that light and use it as energy, uh, you know, as fuel for our bodies. Mm. We've had a number of sleep experts on our show, Dr. Michael Bruce, uh, Sean Stevenson, who authored uh, Sleep Smarter, and they're always talking about the benefits of getting out in the sun for like first thing in the morning to help regulate your sleep. How do you, how do you feel? Why is, that, why is that so? It's for your circadian rhythm. I okay. mean, that, that's one of the base things. And our, our circadian rhythm, it lets our body know one uh, of our when we need to eat, when we need to sleep, it's really regulating the body of what time of day it is. And that's why that's so important in the morning of going out and seeing you know, that sun before you're getting on your, your computer, your laptop. It's important to, to expose yourself and get your circadian rhythm off to what's naturally going on with, with our environment. And there's, yeah. there's too much where our devices help us, but yet it kind of takes us away from some of the key aspects of, of just simple things of just getting some morning sun you know, right in the morning, which we all can do. You know, you were, we were talking, we were geeking out before we started to, to film right now. A lot of people, they're sedentary, not only sedentary behind desks, not moving, but they're also, they're not, they're not getting outside. I mean, how, what percentage of people are spending in time indoors? It's, it's staggering. 93% of Americans' time, a lifetime, is being spent indoors. 87% in, in an office or home, and then 6% in the car. And not only are we in, inside, we're exposing ourselves to, to negative light versus good light of, of our of like blue light we were talking about, your TV screens, your computers, your laptops, that actually has a negative effect on our circadian rhythm when it's in the, in, early in the morning or, or late at night because it, it suppresses 
uh, production of melatonin. As you know, melatonin is a hormone that induces sleep. And if that starts to get you know, messed up, we're just not gonna get into that deep sleep that, that we need. Mm. Um, so there, there's, a, there's a trickle down effect there of one, we're not getting the benefits of, of sunlight, of UV, um, et cetera. And then we're, we're exposing ourselves to too much negative, negative light. What about like we're indoors right now and it's a little, a little bit hazy outside, but there's light that comes in through the glass. Is the glass prevent certain frequencies? Or yeah, movements? it does. You really need to get out and get and get actual skin to light contact because the the most windows are going to block UVA, UVB, etc. From you know, like just like you're riding in the car, you're just not going to get that good exposure. It'll feel good. You're just not. Your body's not being able to uh, absorb much because the it's being blocked. And when you're saying getting out in the sun first thing in the morning, it's interesting, you know, because it's. They have this process of sun gazing, right? We were talking about that. And when the sun first comes up, it's like, it's red. Mm -hmm. And then when it goes down, you have the same kind of red light also as well. What's so healing about, about red light? So, I mean, red light and red and near infrared, you put them, put them both in there is what's, you know, we'll, we won't go too deep, but what's happening on a, on a biological level is it's literally activating mitochondria to produce more ATP in the body. So it's mm -hmm. giving your body more more energy, similar to how you would fuel a car and similar to how we, our, our bodies digest macronutrients from food. We digest in, in, uh, light in similar ways. And when you combine it with the right intensity and the right wavelength, um, you get, it's, it's unbelievable benefits on the body, such as joint pain relief, skin health, and like you, you mentioned, collagen production, fading of scars, um, thyroid enhancement for men, testosterone, mm. like cognitive is, is one of the, uh, a huge one that not a lot of folks are talking about, which is there's some great research just, just two years ago that, that that's been done. Um, so it's just, it almost sounds like an infomercial that I'm sitting here just going, you know, name after name after name. But, but when you look at these studies, which is there, there's thousands of, of clinical studies, you can go on PubMed and, and check them out. Or, uh, it's just, it, it's incredible. The impact light has on the body and how yeah. much us as Americans di disregard it. Right. I mean, we have like what, a hundred trillion cells and they all, they're charged by energy, mm -hmm. right? So we have all these batteries that we need to get charged. And so it's no wonder if you give your body what it needs and it has the energy, it could do the things that it needs to do to be able to recover. And, uh, and so let's talk about some of these cognitive benefits. The research that I was reading, um, and it's, 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 the documents are, it's amazing. We're talking about things like focus. We're talking about things like memory. We're talking about even learning. Mm -hmm. uh, can we talk about that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So as we were saying, like the mitochondria, your brain and, and, and near infrared will actually um, penetrate through the skull in, in, into the brain. Um, so it's going to activate the brain cells that are in there and stimulate for them to, to do their job. So uh, one of the studies that, that's, that was fascinating that, that we were just talking about earlier is, is uh, that there was 118 um, individuals that were, did a light therapy treatment before they went in to learn like rules and regulations and then how to apply them. Mm -hmm. Um, and out of the 118, there was a placebo group, and then there was a, a, a group that was exposed. And the, the group that was exposed to a light therapy treatment before um, the, the learning, uh, the uh, results were significantly higher in what they were able to, to comprehend and then apply versus the, the placebo group, which is just fascinating. And same thing with um, reactionary. Uh, brain, brain reaction, or yeah, same, same exact. Like reaction time, people are able to. Yeah, 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 same, same thing, which is, which is super interesting and fascinating, but it, it makes sense when we go back to that base mechanism of it's activating the mitochondria, it's producing more energy, it's stimulating the cells to do their job. And it's, you know, it sounds like a, I'm repeating it, but it, I mean, that's what's, what's happening. It's just amazing yeah. that any part, any part the light touches on the body, it, it benefits. So a lot of our audience, they love they love the science of it, so we talk about like ATP, mm -hmm. right? So what's going on inside the cell? Yeah, so d so during the fourth phase of, of cellular respiration, uh, the red and near infrared combined with the right intensity is actually breaking the bond between cytochrome C oxidase and nitric oxide, freeing up oxygen to pair with NADH, which is then in turn creating more ATP. So it's right. leading your cells from cellular death, which is what normally would happen, and it's releasing more nit nitric oxide into the bloodstream. That's why a lot of athletes will say they see an increase in blood flow before mm -hmm. when they do treatments. So yeah, that's the base mechanism it, is it's down to the cellular level. As we know, the mitochondria, it's the powerhouse of the cell. Yeah. Um, it's breaking that bond and it's allowing your body to create more ATP. And, you, and, and oddly enough, your body actually uses on a regular basis, it uses ATP 
to create ATP. Right. It, it's insane of how much our, our body is reliant on that. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're like this human battery, mm -hmm. right? And so we don't, we don't necessarily have energy. We, 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 we create it all the time. And part of it is in, from our environment. It's wonderful because it's, 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 it's available if you're out there doing those things. My biggest challenge is a lot of people, they don't, they don't get the requisite sunlight that, they, you know, that their body and brain mm -hmm. needs. And so this, this uh, device that we were talking about, actually we have one back here, and this is the, a, a Juve panel. Yeah, yeah. This is something I'm excited about because it's the first thing I do in the morning, it's part of my morning routine, is I'll stand in front of it because if it's, if it's dull light or it's faded outside, then I don't get that benefit. Yep. So I stand in front of it only like 10, 15 minutes a, and then the first thing in the morning, and I do it at nighttime also, and it helps dramatically with my sleep quality also as well. Yeah, yeah, and that and that's that that's that's what it's all about is getting that into your routine because you know me and, uh, and like other folks out there is we're busy we're busy right. during the day and again think about that ninety three percent of us and it's not that we don't want to go outside it's that we just we don't have time to, right. to go outside and sit in the sun um, so when you can expose yourself to a healthy dosage of light like you're saying it does those profound effects of of sleep and and sleep is one of the, I would say one of the number one um, feedback I get back from, yeah. from professional athletes because they're on the go so much that when they can incorporate this, they just sleep uh, so much better. Yeah, we've recommended the, the Juve, your, your device to a lot of our, our clients that mm -hmm. we work with and we get the same kind of response. And it's just, it's funny because, you know, what, what you put on your body matters, especially for your, your gray matter. And a lot of people are watching and looking things to make make things more convenient, mm -hmm. because if it's too difficult, then these people won't won't do it. Definitely. And so let's say people. And now, by the way, we'll we'll put links to all the research at uh, our show notes, jimquick.com forward slash notes. And if people want more information about this device called the Juve, you could just go to jimquick.com forward slash Juve. That's J double O double V, like rejuvenate. That's if right. You will. So that's that's right. clever. So. For people who are watching, and maybe um, they, they, what are three things that they could do, knowing the power light has to be able to boost their performance? Yeah, what would you recommend? I would say number one is get out, get out and get sun. See, see the sunrise if you can, see the sunset if you can, but just get out, get out 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. Um, there's a great, there's there's tons of apps out there that you can get that that are, they're called D-Minder apps where they tell you when vitamin D is the highest. You can go out oh, and wow. get those good beneficial wavelengths versus some of the negative, you know, wavelengths that can cause burning on your skin, etc. D-Minder. D-Minder app, yeah, yeah. There's that. so we'll, I have one we'll, on my phone. We'll put links to that in the show notes also as well. That's yeah, pretty cool. It, it it is, and then um, another one would be. Um, uh, just be cognizant of how much blue light you're exposing yourself to on a daily basis. And just, mostly the, the big culprit is our screens. Yeah, our screens, our phones. Um, we're, I mean, I, I, w walking over here, I, we're, you know, I saw everybody was just like this on their phone. You yeah. know what I mean? And they're outside. Yeah. So it's just, it's just crazy. So just, just monitor how much blue light, and then when you're exposing yourself to that blue light. So at night, um, something, uh, a big thing you can do is, especially in the bedroom, is just get some red red incandescent bulbs in there because okay. red light at night does not affect your circadian rhythm. So if you're going to have complete darkness, that would be ideal. But if you're going to have light on, red light is the next best spectrum of light because it's not going to affect circadian rhythm. It's not going to affect your sleep. Okay. And then the third one I would say is, is there, there's tons of um, screen uh, 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 apps that you can download that actually can take some of the blue light out of, out of your computer screen so you okay. can minimize that. Um, one of them, I believe, is, is Iris. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. great, it's a great, uh, it's a great one. It's super affordable. I mean, it's less yeah. than less than less than fifteen dollars. So, those are those are some good hacks that I would recommend. I mean, get outside first of all, yeah. mitigate the blue, and then in, in, incorporate uh, red, and then and then you know get some get some screens that so you can protect. So, Iris or Flux. Again, we'll put them uh, links in the show notes also as well. Yeah, absolutely. So those are the three things we we're talking about. Number one, get out in the, the sun first thing in the morning, ideally when the sun comes up, because yeah. that's how we, as hunter and gatherers, that, that was like our sleep cycle mm -hmm. to make sure our uh, circadian rhythms are on track. Uh, number two, um, putting red light actually in the bedroom, yeah. which is wonderful, mm -hmm. you know, because that has none of the blue light that's gonna be, you know, challenge our, our brain and yep. our sleep patterns. Yep. And number, number three, eliminate through screens, mm -hmm. either turn your phone off. I mean, I like just sleeping with my phone out of the room yeah. in general, 
but get off those screens. Or if you're going to use a screen, use something like Flux, use something like Iris, use one of these blue mitigating uh, apps. Yeah, yeah, or the glasses too. Yeah. Or the glasses too, yeah, either one. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. And, and if people want more information, we'll put all the studies and everything in the show notes again, jimquick.com forward slash notes. And if you like more information about this Juve technology, something I, I'm so excited about, something I use twice a day, every single day, you can go to jimquick.com forward slash Juve. That's J-O-O-V. -O -O -V. Thanks That's for it, being man. here, Wes. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm.